It may be a holiday week, but there are plenty of local business and development updates for you in our area. We sent Dan Gross for a bit of a drive today in all that rain to learn about a new development, two gas and convenience locations, and a new City of Rochester housing complex underway. He goes county by county now for this report. People living in Gates have probably wondered for months what the fate would be of the old Perkins near the Chile Ave Walmart, and there's certainly been a lot of construction next door. Gates Town Supervisor Cosmo Junta said this construction is for a new quick lease, and for that Perkins, a sign shows the developer asking for three new tenants to take over the space. I've reached out to Quickly's and the developer and haven't heard back yet on either for the timeline or any other details. On to Rochester now, visible and extensive work is underway on the city block bracketed by Maine, Broad, and Plymouth. According to the city of Rochester, it's going to be a new apartment complex called the Center City Courtyard. These are public renderings of the space. The architect, Pacero, says on their website this will be affordable housing. No word yet on the timeline for completion. And down the way in Brighton, the large development on South Clinton by McQuaid is taking shape. In this development, the town said today will be an Aldi's. The first building has much of its exterior up. At least one of the spaces will be a Starbucks and the other will be a Jersey Mike's, according to public documents. Any other tenants are not yet clear. The site also has a restaurant zoned as well as an office business suite in back, as well as a medical building. And all the way in Wayne County, a burn dairy could be coming to Walworth. A representative with the company said they are in the early stages of working with the town to build here at 1828 Penfield Walworth Road. And that's it for the Business Beat reporting in Monroe and Wayne County. Stan Gross, News 8.